though you've gone into your dream home, and in order to close on your home, your lender now requires you to buy a homeowner's insurance. What is homeowner's insurance? Today, we're going to talk about what it is and why you need it. This is Heather Lynn with Keller Williams Realty. Welcome to my channel. In this channel, we talk about everything that's related to real estate here in Palo Alto, Silicon Valley, and the San Francisco Mid Peninsula neighborhoods. We talk about real estate trends and how to make repairs of your home for top dollar sale. We also talk about fun things to do in this area. Subscribe to my channel. That way you'll have one juicy video coming your way every week. Oh, by the way, we also talk about cats and wine because I'm a cat mom who loves wine. And I've helped hundreds of families buy and sell real estate here in the San Francisco Bay Area. And I would love to have the opportunity to sit down with you and talk about how I can help you realize your real estate dreams. Um, there are three components where homeowners insurance covers. One is structural. The other one is your personal belongings. Everything that you bring to the house is considered your personal belongings. The number three aspect of homeowner's insurance is liability. So what are structural? The number one structural damage is the physical dwelling of your home. The framing, the foundation, the light fixtures, the walls, everything physically mounted to the soil, the land of the home is the structural. So homeowner's insurance comes in handy when it comes to natural disasters. Hailing, fire, uh, which is the most common claim of homeowner's insurance. Any type of natural disasters here in the Bay Area. Uh, we also have earthquake insurance uh, because we are in an earthquake zone. So that covers the structure. And if, for example, in a windy day, the tree fell on top of your roof, your roof need repair, that's also part of the structural coverage. So homeowner's insurance covers everything that protects you living inside the house, the structural damage that could happen due to natural disaster. The second aspect of the coverage is belongings. You know, sometimes things got stolen, uh, sometimes a theft and burglary happen. So anything of value inside your home, computers, equipments, jewelry, expensive paintings, uh, anything that is of value to you. Uh also covered by your homeowner's insurance. I would uh, also encourage you to look into the fine print. I believe that uh, belongings also cover items that are not inside your home. For example, if your laptop computer got stolen in your car, your homeowner's insurance may cover it. The number three aspect of homeowner's insurance coverage is liability. And basically liability is that uh, things that happen to individuals that in your property, for example, if a neighbor walked by and there was a trip hazard in your front lawn, they trip and they got hurt, they might decide to sue you. And that's uh, one example of liability. And the other example is that you have a swimming pool in your backyard or trampoline, you might have a birthday party where kids come and play and get hurt. And someone got badly hurt, went into a hospital, and the parents might decided that 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 was the responsibility of you. In that case, your homeowner's insurance will come and cover you. So is homeowner's insurance important? Yes, if I could impress upon you, always have your property covered by homeowner's insurance. You don't know when you're gonna need it. I personally have made a claim on my homeowner's insurance when I first moved into my house. I smell a stench uh, when I was taking a shower one day and I went under the house to look into the crawl space and I realized the sewer line had bursted. Long story short, we have to rip out the deck and reroute the sewer line to minimize the, you know, the renovation that we eventually had to do. And my homeowner's insurance actually covered the entire replacement of my deck. So I was very grateful to have coverage at the time. You never know when you're gonna need it. I have heard people saying, well, you know, I paid my home outright with cash. I don't have a bank. Make me get a homeowner's insurance, uh, why would I need it? You absolutely need it. You know, homeowner's insurance, depending on the level level of coverage, usually costs somewhere between $800 to $1,500 a year. 
and that is a small cost compared to the potential damage that could be done to your home due to natural disaster, due to human negligence, due to accidents. So a very small cost to pay. You absolutely need homeowner's insurance. So let's talk about how much coverage would you need. When you talk to your insurance person, make sure you talk about replacement cost. One of the most common costs of claim is fire. Fire happens a lot you know sometimes we might be distracted when we have stuff cooking on the stove sometimes you know it could be electrical fire it happened a lot for older homes and we have a lot of older homes here in the in the peninsula sometimes it's a knob and tube wiring between the walls that cause a fire so in the event of a fire oftentimes homes cannot be lived in it will be condemned until the fire damage is secured so your homeowner's insurance will come in and replace you in the hotel or maybe temporary housing while you figure out what you want to do with the property damage so critical to getting the homeowner's insurance make sure you have sufficient replacement cost replacement is if a bad fire happened your home got burned down or there it was no longer inhabitable how much would it cost to rebuild it you know to its current condition to a to a habitable condition in this bay area you know let's keep in mind that labor and construction cost is pretty high compared to other areas in the nation so you want to have at least a coverage of a replacement of somewhere between 600 to 800 thousand dollars to completely replace your home depending on the size again so so have a minimum coverage of 600,000 replacement costs. Other than that, talk to your insurance agent, understand what does it cover? Absolutely have homeowner's insurance. Oh, and by the way, how do you pick your insurance company? Actually, it, for me, I usually just lump it with the same company that I have my auto policy or other policy. Sometimes mo most of the insurance company have what they call like a package deal. If you buy multiple policies within the same firm, they give you a discount. So that's how I decide. Obviously, there are many companies out there. so definitely compare prices, but make sure you have sufficient coverage. Now you know a little bit about homeowner's insurance. If you're interested in buying a home and don't know where to start, I will recommend you download my buyer's guide right here or give me a call. I'd love to talk to you about your budget, your wants and needs, and help you come up with a winning plan to successfully purchase a home in this competitive Bay Area market. And also be sure to watch the video right here on my market prediction for 2022.